gentlemen, welcome to the Beta Wave Station. I'm your host, Pedro, coming to you live yet pre-recorded from beautiful Birmingham, Alabama. Before I start anything off, I'd like to say thank you to everyone who's subscribed. I'm trying to make it to 50 subscribers. Uh, I think I'm at 33 right now. The last video I did was my nephew playing a scary game called Dark Fracture. He posted it, and the next day, the people who made the, I guess, developers of uh, Dark Fracture, uh subscribe to the channel so i greatly appreciate that uh for supporting me and and you know everything else it's uh it feels really good so anyway uh let's see today we're gonna try out a door in the basement it's also a demo so in all fairness i have <clears throat> i've played this before uh i think like a year or two ago um i think it's I think it's had some updates. Okay, this looks different. So as I said, I played this game, I guess about a year or two ago. So I remember, you know, one or two pieces of it, but I really don't, I don't remember what it's about. That looks good. The door in the basement. All right. So, I want to thank everyone for stopping by. Let's take a sip of our adult juice. Let's go. It's been almost 10 years since I last went down here. I would always try to avoid the basement as a kid. Ever since I found that door, the one no one else could see, occasionally, curiosity would get the better of me. I would peer into the basement. Sometimes the door would be gone. I hoped I would never see it again, but it always came back. All right, well, I went through the door in the basement and I guess this is where it led me to. look bad. It looks kind of like some Windows 98 kind of stuff, which is kind of what I grew up playing. But yeah, sort of pixelated, but not really. That would be a handy weapon, but whatever. <gasps> a note! I heard that too. <clears throat> it feels like weeks since I started, since I walked through the door. I'm so hungry. There's no sun down here, so I have no way of knowing exactly how long I've been trapped in this place. But I know it's been a long time. I've been looking for a way out of here since I arrived, but this place seems to go on forever. I'm going to start leaving notes behind to document my findings. If nothing else, it would be a good way to tell which areas I've already I've been to already. And perhaps if there is anyone else down here with their sanity intact, my information might prove useful. Marcus. I'm pretty sure there's somebody walking around behind me, but I mean, this place may collapse at any point, so it's always good to look out for, see? Another door. Well, just for now, check it out. 
and tune in the radio. Okay. Hey, friend. Let's get a hug. Oh, you're. Did you want a hug? You should. Burp. Man. Like a a boxer, man. Somebody beat you up. Where am I? Oh, that's me. Just you don't have to whisper. Hello. Don't disturb the walls. The man with no face has many pets. The walls. I questioned him about the walls, but not the guy with no face. Where are we? Who is the man with no face? Don't don't worry about it. Okay, well, if this fine looking gentleman tells me not to worry about it, I trust him. See so you already got a cave in right here. I can only assume it's the exit, but whatever. We shall endure whatever tortures are fed to us. I'm sure that's just <clears throat> rust. Yeah, so there's a run feature, so that's always good. Hey, look, a thing, another thing I can't pick up. Let me let me backtrack and go finish exploring the other cave. Okay, so that may have connected to that side. Yep, it did. Okay, that's fine. Got an upset tummy. Yeah, no shadow. That's odd. Just had to double check, make sure. All right, M. See you later. Okay, you just keep whispering to yourself. We'll see you later. I don't know what that is. I don't want to guess what that is. Or what it was. Just wasting these candles. Uh, that's a torso. Yep. Oh, well, that's a thing. Rut row. Yep, that's a zombie. Okay, we're just going to go this way. Pretty sure he's gonna chase me. Where'd he go? He was right here. Okay, well, that's fine. He went this way, I guess. Maybe he... I don't know. 
Okay. He's he's gone. Maybe he crowed. Maybe he crowed up one of these little cave hole things. All right, whatever. That's fine. Whatever. wasn't scary. wasn't scary. I was waiting for some kind of spider thing to show itself. Okay, well, we're going from the that one to a, a cool blue color. That big creature went through there. Jiggly. Ew, that sounds gross. Mm-hmm. Some Skyrim stuff. I'm hearing something. It's a long fall, I think. Maybe. Probably not. Okay. A door. Is that curtain hangers? Right. Oh. Look at that. The thing I walked right by. Etched bone. Of course. I've started to hear skittering coming from the walls. I don't know what's making these sounds, and I don't want to find out. If anyone is reading this, don't stay here too long. You got it, bud. So one of those, I guess, insert relic. Okay. Dos mas. Here we go. Yeah, the skittering was the spiders. Pick that up, please. No, that's fine. sound. Alright, nothing there. So I picked up one. I got one more. <clears throat> Hope this doesn't trigger any event. Run away! Okay, here we go. Hello. I wasn't moving. <laughs> this would be a perfect... Okay then, that would be a perfect weapon, but you know, I'll just fight a creature with my fists, it's fine. Okay, so moving from cave system to more industrial, that's good.
covers on top of cages. My favorite decor. Another radio. That doesn't work. All right. Whatever. That got really quiet. A secret note. <clears throat> the bark. plug up my uh, camera battery. The barking has been going on for what feels like hours now. I'm trying to stay hidden until it stops, but I feel like they could find me at any moment. The barking. Well, from, from like the cages? There's nothing in there. Don't even say they're locked, just nothing. It's super quiet. I spoke too soon. Oh, he's got a shadow. Huh. But I don't. Well, that's probably not good. These are invisible rabid dogs. And I can't even hold a weapon. It's not going to be fun. Uh huh. What he said. Excuse me. Sure. Why not? Let's just put a hole in the thing there. Crouch is C. Oh, C for crouch. F for flashlight. I would have never guessed. Damn, it's quick. Fast crouch. Uh, I don't know what those are. Hello? It's kind of, I was going to say nice, but it is kind of interesting how they have, you know, it's really quiet in some parts, <clears throat> and then right back into uh, a cave system, it's weird noises and, and whispering and ambiance. I met a woman named Zoe today. Cool. She's normal, like me. We'll see about that. She seems just as confused as I am, but we have the same story. A mysterious door opened, and, we, and when she walked through it, she ended up down here. We're going to split up and try to look for anything that might point to the way out of here. Maybe we can find more people like us as we go. You just... Is that a root? I was going to say antler, but... So, this Marcus person who's leaving notes, is leaving notes everywhere, how he finds paper or ink left in his pen, uh, I don't know. So, he's leaving notes for whomever, me, uh, and he finds another normal person named Zoe. I wonder if he bumped into M, or that person 
Looks like he got beat up back there. Meets a normal girl named Zoe. Same story. And they say, oh yeah, you're the first person I've seen down here. Let's split up. Teamwork, man. Collabs. That's how it works. Roots. Oh, okay, I'm running. I did not even see that guy. <laughs> okay, that's totally fine, too. So I just got stabbed by the guy with no face. And so he jukes me in the gut with, I don't know, uh, shivs. So I didn't see what he had. I was looking at the ground. And I was going to say roots. Bloody roots. So, anyway. So, I turn and haul ass that way and fall through the damn floor. It, with all these cubes, even lower. Or did I, did I fall back down? Did I go up any? I don't remember. Whatever. Well, I guess I'm outside now. Whoa. Indigestion. Uh, obviously, he's pointing to the way I need to be going. So I'm going to go the opposite direction, naturally. Is this still underground? That's a lot of reverb. Oh, I almost got stuck. Fire water. Oh, fire water. Oh, it's so thin. It's a thin flame. Okay, that's nothing. And that mound. Okay. Only you could prevent forest fires. That's, that's a big old skeleton. Wow. I don't think I'd want to mess with that guy. Well, I mean, he's dead now, but whatever. Uh, maybe they... Maybe they're fighting each other? Could hide in his ribcage. Be a little safer. Alright, fine. I'll made it to the other side, safe and sound. So, I wonder how those two giant Goliath Colossus type things. Oh, crap. wonder how those play. Yep, I'm gone. You better not stab me, dude. That dude's quick. I mean, sort of. Can you not? Even coming this way? No. He's like super pixelated. Look at that. <laughs> Scary pixel man. Well, he obviously sees me. Okay, so he's stuck up there. I don't know if that's just a glitch or how I'm supposed to get around him. That's how I get around him. <laughs> Politely ask him to come out here and stab me. 